mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes, once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants to go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. Fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is Hi. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh, dear. George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm, for you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right back. Hang on, Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. <laughs> George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. <laughs> it is very early in the morning. <laughs> George, it's too early. Dinosaur. <laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> it sounds like someone's up bright and early. 
Happy birthday, George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Peppa. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a dinosaur. That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? What do you think it is, Pepper? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Pepper loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George, why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur. A bouncy dinosaur. <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit. It is the end of another lovely day. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing with their friends, Rebecca and Richard Rabbit. Home time, my little bunnies. Oh, but we want to play some more, Mummy. Maybe tomorrow. Can Peppa and George come to our house tomorrow? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> Why is Richard crying? He's a bit scared of going downstairs. Why? We don't have stairs in our home. What? No stairs? That's right. You'll see tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> It is morning. Pepper and George are going to Rebecca Rabbit's house today. Mummy Pig can drive and I'll do the map reading. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? We 
we always get lost when you do the map reading. <laughs> we won't get lost. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Mummy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Pepper and George are very excited. They have never been to Rebecca Rabbit's house before. Daddy, are we nearly there? The map says Rebecca's house is on the next hill. I don't understand. This should be where Rebecca Rabbit lives. We must be lost. There's just this garden of carrots. Where can Rebecca Rabbit's house be? Squeak! Hello, everyone. Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> Rebecca! Do you want to play in my bedroom? Your bedroom? But where is your house? Pepper cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh! I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow. Rebecca's house is a bit different to Peppa's. This is our bedroom. Wow. You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course. <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know. Shall I teach you both how to be rabbit? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious! Nom, 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 nom. Delicious! Yuck! George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> 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 Rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak. Oh, you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite, carrots. Delicious. Delicious. Yuck. George will not eat carrots. Oh, dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak, squeak. Mmm. Wow, George is eating a carrot. <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm, carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. <laughs> the rainbow. Pepper and her family are going for a drive to the mountains. Are we nearly there yet? Not yet, Pepper. <sighs> Let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Boo! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win! Hello, Candy! Meow! Hello, Peppa! Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win! Hello, Danny! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Here's another car! It's Susie! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win! <laughs> This is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Peppa. Where? <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. 
I win! I win! <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy. Look. The sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> And do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, magic puddle. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> 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 Grandpa at the playground. Grandpa Pig is looking after Pepper and George today. Now, Grandpa, I will tell you how everything works. <laughs> this is the slide. Whee! You climb up here and you slide down there. Whee! And everyone takes it in turns. Oh, oh, oh. I know what a slide is, Pepper. I used to play on one myself when I was a little piggy. Did you have swings too in the olden days? Oh, oh, oh. We had swings and climbing frames and roundabouts. Oh. But my favourite was the slide. It is my favourite too. <laughs> Whee! Everyone takes it in turns to have a go on the slide. Whee! <laughs> Naughty Richard, you know you have to wait your turn. Richard Rabbit finds it hard to wait his turn. Oh, dear. It's not easy being small, is it, Richard? <laughs> because Richard is little, I don't think he should have to wait. I wouldn't change the rules if I were you, Grandpa Pig. Nonsense. The children understand, don't you? <laughs> Whee! But, Grandpa, George is little and he has to wait his turn. <laughs> Yes, George is little, so he shouldn't have to wait either. <laughs> Whee! Oh dear, Whee! Richard and George are taking all the turns on the slide. Grandpa, when do we get to go on the slide? Don't worry, Peppa. They won't be on it for long. 
<sighs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. Let's play on the swing. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony on the swing. Nay. Pedro, can I have a go now? I just want to swing a bit more. But you've been on the swing for ages. Grandpa Pig, can you push me a little bit, please? I think it is someone else's turn now, Pedro. But I have to go home soon. Oh, oh I see. That's different. Let me push you then. But Grandpa! <laughs> I'm bored of waiting. Me too. And me. Let's play on the roundabout. <laughs> Everyone wants to get on the roundabout. Too many children on the roundabout. Everybody off. <gasps> but Grandpa Pig, I was actually here first. Ah, then you can get back on the roundabout. I need to get on too. Oh, why is that, Rebecca? Um, because it's my birthday soon. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and me! Uh, all right. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> Stop! There are no boys on the roundabout. Um, <laughs> now is everybody ready? I'm wearing glasses. Can I go on, please? The children are making up their own rules. I need to get them because I like carrots. <laughs> now, are you all ready to go? No, I have to get on because I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Mummy Pig. How are you getting on, Grandpa Pig? I I'm confused. These playground rules are too complicated. There is only one rule, Grandpa Pig, and that is everyone waits their turn. Whee! <laughs> what? Even the little ones? Even the little ones. What about the very old ones, like Grandpa? Even the very old ones like Grandpa. At the playground, everyone has their turn. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Baby Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? <coughs> Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? <coughs> no, it's baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah! <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> Oh, here it is. Uh, he keeps turning his head. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Peppa. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth. And in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. 
I thought Peppa's first word was Daddy. No, Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Peppa has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. 